the the Patriots are in control chat. The Patriots are in control. Actually, we have um some other reactions to this. I'll just because I don't know. Here's my thing about about this, right? Here's my take on on the the my genuine take on the Palestine Israel thing. I don't care. Um, I it, it's just sort of weird because when you think about it, Israel has a population of nine million people, and then there's this tiny itty bitty little strip of of territory, and it has like two million people, and it's basically just like a giant concentration camp for like Arabs that are trying to live in the Holy Land. Um, I'm aware that there is like <clears throat> Arabs in Israel. So I, I really don't know what the distinction is between Palestine and Gaza and Israel. Like, I, 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 well, okay. Like if you want to have like a multicultural society, why can't you incorporate them? And if you can't have a multicultural society, why are there any Arabs left in Israel at all? Why do they have to have Arabs in the Knesset at all? Uh, the whole thing is just, the whole thing is literally British people's fault. And we can only hope that the the biblical revelations will take place as a result because if we don't know the revelations the the armageddon is supposed to happen when the jews rebuild the third temple which they haven't done in a very long time since the bible was written so theoretically and this is hotly discussed um the jews believe that they should build the third temple the problem is is that there is a big mosque on the on the place where the third temple has to go so in order to build the third temple, and I think there's a church too. So in order to build the third temple, they kind of have to like knock all that ancient shit down that like all three of the Abrahamic religions care about and build their own thing. And that would piss a lot of people off. And there are people trying to advocate for this. But if they do do it in Christianity, and okay, and literally, if you don't know, this is the entire reason that the United States supports Israel. This is how they've convinced um, boomers to throw away everybody's future for the state of Israel. You ready? They believe that by encouraging Israel to build the third temple, they will bring back Jesus Christ. Because if they tear down the mosque and they build the third temple, uh, the rapture will happen. Because that's what it says in Revelations. So there are boomers who have been for the last 50 years wholeheartedly supporting Israel. They have completely and totally destroyed the future of the United States for the sake of building up Israel and having a retarded foreign policy because they actually believe that if Israel is strong enough, they will build the third temple and that will usher in um, the end times and they will be taken up to Jesus early, just a little bit early. That is, that, that's not even a joke. That is literally why we support Israel so much. Um, but if they do do that, they may get nuked by like Iran, like Iran might nuke them. And there's all these descriptions in the Bible about revelate, um, about like what happens in the end times. And it's all in Israel. Like the earth splits open and there are these giant angels and they use the word angels, but they're like gigantic, like attack on Titan, like Cthulhu monsters, basically. Um, which kind of makes sense in a nuclear concept. Like if there was gigantic atom mushroom clouds and the sh weird shapes like rising over Israel, then you could kind of be like, oh yeah, the earth is split open and there are gigantic monsters in Israel. It would literally makes, it would be a perfect allegory for it, for a nuclear weapon. So, and then after that, I guess all the, all the good boys and girls get raptured and then you're in paradise. And I imagine paradise is just like, Space Station, thir you're playing Space Station 13 on like a nice land with like a good population of like 64 people continuously and there's no shitters and there's no blinks and you're just having a good time. That's basically that's basically what the, the kingdom of God entails for the good. So the boomers have been waiting for that land party for a long time and they're not going to be they're not going to let it slip out of their fingers. Nukes are fake. That is a hot take. Um, but Hassan does not like this. Hassan, who is Turkish, is now going and, and seething about. Um... Okay, here, here's, what, here's what I'll do. I'll cleverly swap this out. I will play this clip instead of King Cobra JFS talking about the war, and then I'll find the, pal the Hassan one real quick. I stand with Israel and their fight against these raping, cocksucking motherfuckers. It's the golden rule, man. Do unto others as you'd have done to you. 
Let me ask these Palestinian fucking raping pieces of shit pricks this, YouTube. How would you feel if it was your mother getting raped? You wouldn't like it, stupid motherfuckers. And a circle of protection around Israel as they bomb the fuck out of these raping pussy ass fucks. I'm so over this shit, YouTube. You know how King Cobra feel about this shit? Fuck rape, fuck sickos. And fuck our dumb society's bullshit. I'm so fucking over it. And fuck the Palestinians. It's specifically Hamas. It's not like all the Palestinians. Hashtag not all Palestine. But then again, I don't know. If I was like raised in like an open air prison and there was no upward mobility, you're like one of the poorest. Like Gaza is not only one of the poorest places on earth, it's also one of the most like high population areas in the entire planet. Like it's 2 million people in like a couple square miles. So. I can understand why they're just like, yeah, I'm totally ready to just like Allahu Akbar over that fucking wall. I'm going to do some park sick ass parkour moves. And I'm just going to go over to Israel. I'm going to like destroy everything in my path. I'm going to paraglide over there and just like kidnap grandma. <laughs> Cause what's the alternative? The alternative is being stuck in, um, in the Gaza Strip for forever. Okay, so I gave myself like a full minute to find this clip, and I have actually f completely failed at this. Oh, wait, okay, here. I know I found it. Oh my god. Oh, it's so hard. Why things gotta be so fucking. Oh, it's in the, the actual featured Palestine thread, which is why it's. They didn't deserve it, you fucking idiot. My goal is solutions. Your goal is the continuation of violence. You want way more than 260 people dying. You want every single Palestinian to be fucking executed ruthlessly in the streets so that you can build another fucking theme park in Gaza. You fucking baying pig. You fucking bloodthirsty, violent pig dog. What theme park would you build over the Gaza Strip? Say, say, uh, speak in chat what, what theme park you would build. Suck my dick! How do you think this happens? You think it happens out of nowhere? You think these people are just like, oh, we were violent because we want to be violent. You think that's where violence culminates from? Or do you think it's because you have entrapped them, you have bullied them, you have subjugated them, you have humiliated these fucking people. Two million people live inside of Gaza. I'm, they're not even fucking people in the eyes of Israel. It's true. Israel came out and said something like, you guys are like animals, so we're going to treat you like animals. I don't know why they haven't just like dropped enough like ordinance to completely level it. I guess you can't... Is, would it piss off the neocons to murder two million people? Like, if you just started dropping, like, bunker buster bombs and just literally coated every square inch in, of Gaza with militant, or, like, explosives, as they have, sure, they have enough to bomb all of it. Would they care? You can, I can think you could do that if you killed two million people. Just don't tell them. Logistics? I mean, how, what kind of logistics do you need? They have a bunch of planes, they have a bunch of gasoline, and they have a bunch of bombs. You just take the planes, you take the bombs, and you just start dropping them over Gaza forever until you literally, until everybody's dead. They even have artillery, and they have boats. You got a lot of bombs there. I think you could do it. I think you could kill every single person in Gaza. It's a really, it's a, it's a really, really dense population. It's like, it would be like dropping a nuke on Hong Kong. Like, yeah, you're going to kill a lot of people that way because it's so, so densely packed. Yeah, Moab. Drop like eight of those. I would do it. That's so insane. I mean, what's stopping them? Let's be realistic here. Let's, let's, po let's pose a hypothetical chat. What if Israel using the combined totality of all of its forces and all of the Raytheon coupons that we keep giving them, just coded all of Palestine in explosive ordinance. Who would stop them? Optics? For what? 
Who would stop them? Literally, who would stop them? Iran would nuke them. Don't they have that Iron Dome? Okay, how... Okay, okay, fine. Let, let's say that Iran could nuke them and nobody could stop them. Um... What, how how many Palestinians can you kill before Iran nukes you? Let's say like you, let's say that we just started dropping bombs starting from the the western border, the eastern side, all the way to the west. How much of the city could you completely and totally wipe off the face of the planet forever and ever before Iran is like, yo, what the fuck? Basadwa. seven fifty the same. 1.8 miles. Okay, fine. <laughs> if the Middle East invaded Israel, the U.S. would defend it, wouldn't it? No, nah, I I think you guys are wrong. I think that the U that they could just kill everybody. I don't think anyone would stop them, and the U.S. would help. And if Iran like said, what, "What's Iran going to do?" They're going to like wave their the waggle their finger at them even harder. Like, no, really, we're totally going to nuke you guys this time. Nobody's nobody's going to nuke anybody. Nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to die horrifically in like mutually assured destruction. As long as they use conventional ordnance, they can kill literally as many people as they want, and nobody would stop them. I'm I'm, I'm being. Here's my other question. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to switch sides now. Now that I've finished I've solved the issue for Israel. I now have a, a solution package for Palestine, you ready? There's 2 million Palestinians minus 750, right? Hamas took a bulldozer and bulldozed a big hole in the wall on Palestine's like border with Israel. I propose that the entire population of Gaza proceed into the, the hills and into the open of Israel. Literally just walk in there, find a house that owns is owned by a Jew, and just say, hello. I do not believe in the concept of personal property. This house is now where I live. I uh, would like to see you try and stop me from being here. What hills? Uh, half of Israel is a fucking mountain, bro. Uh, so tell me, what what is wrong with this? The Jews would open fire, but then they have the base Palestinian warriors there to protect them. And the Israelis do not have weapons. So explain this. Hill would stop them. You mean to tell me that if the Palestinians tried to migrate into Israel, they would be for, uh, pushed back by this unstoppable force? That's a good point. You would need serious coordination to combat this minute. As we speak, Killa Klein has personally racked up over 9,000 kills. She is just walking through the streets of Gaza. She has un she has no clip on. She has infinite ammo. She's in God mode. She's just wiping out Palestinians. This video was made for today. I I, I have an abundance of options of, of like shit to play, of memes to play. I, I, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to do with myself. Um Yeah, I don't know. Like, look, the whole thing is is just like, it's just people, it's literally people fighting over like a patch of desert. There's no purpose for it. There's no purpose to Palestine and there's no purpose to Israel. There, that entire swath of land has no value whatsoever. Um, I don't, I just don't fucking get it. It's just, it's it's like I don't know. I understand it has like some biblical importance and some Quran importance and shit. It's like, but it's literally just a patch of desert that's no more significant than Utah is <laughs> in terms of like viability for inhabitants. They believe God lives there. No, God lives in Serbia, bro. Come on now, God is a Serb. Think he would leave Serbia? Fuck no. All right, whatever. I don't know. I, I have. It's weird because everyone seems like really like 
like strongly obviously it's like one of the most polarizing things in the entire world and even retard americans have very strong opinions about israel and palestine and shit even though americans don't really know anything ever and everyone's a strong opinion about it and i don't which is like a weird converse because usually i have strong opinions about things that are completely and totally inconsequential um but when it comes to like the number one thing that everyone fights over i just don't give a shit um, I understand, I, I completely understand the Palestinians because it's like they are being rounded up into a fucking ghetto. Like in, it's literally like District 9. You have, you have a bunch of like, you live in like the, this cramped shithole and you have no hope and no future and you might as well just strap a bomb to your chest and blow yourself up because what the fuck else are you going to do? You're just going to live your entire life in that cramped shithole known as Gaza? Like, yeah, I get, I get wanting to take back the rest of Israel. I totally, I, I understand that. And then I understand the Jews because Muslims suck and I wouldn't want to live with them either. And then I understand not wanting to, to live with Jews and wanting your home back. Like, I don't know. Both, and I feel like it's like a shitty position to take where it's like, I hope they both wipe each other out because I don't like either of them. Whoever loses, I win. It's gay. So, uh, I don't know. I've tried to make as many jokes as I can. I have no strong opinion about the war, to be honest with you. I do like the memes, though, and I like techno jihad. Let it be known that that's one of my favorite genres of music. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.